हेलो नमस्ते दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट डायबिटीज वी ऑल नो दैट दिस हैज बिकम वेरी मच प्रिवेलेंट एंड मेनी पीपल आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम इट एंड ऑल्सो फैक्ट रिमेन्स दैट दिस इज अ लाइफ स्टाइल दिस ऑर्डर एंड इफ वी कुड मेक सम चेंजेस इन द लाइफ स्टाइल देन इट इज एक्चुअली पॉसिबल टू कम आउट ऑफ दिस डिजीज सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू to make an attempt to explain that what is this disease what are the factors this cause this disease and how how we can look into the factor and try to come out of it so let us first look into the disease itself uh you see uh, i'm talking about uh, type 2 diabetes only not type 1 uh when we eat anything which contains uh, carbohydrate and many things like wheat potato rice and pulses many many things contain carbohydrate when we eat that thing then uh, on digestion that carbohydrate get converted into the glucose and glucose is a very important energy fuel for the body but it is also very reactive so body uh, keeps a very tight control over the glucose and uh, fasting limit for the glucose is set around 100 mg per 100 ml and as per that limit uh, the quantity of the glucose in body the whole body becomes just 5 g which means just 1 teaspoonful so it is only 1 or 2 teaspoonful of the glucose that you carry in your blood there is some amount of uh, glucose that could be converted into the glycogen and is stored in the muscles or in liver and remaining all glucose is actually sent to the fat cells and there it is converted into the fat and is stored because fat is a safe storage thing our body doesn't have much mechanism to handle the glucose uh, the role of insulin uh, is at many places but this is one of the important place uh, insulin acts as as a gatekeeper and when the insulin opens the gate the uh, blood uh, the glucose that is present in the blood goes inside the fat cell if insulin doesn't open the gate so if the insulin is not functioning properly or if insulin senses that there is no room inside fat cell is already full then it will not open the gate and then the blood glucose remains in the blood itself and the the uh, amount in the blood starts shooting up like from 100 to 200 300 400 500 and so on and when it goes very high then it starts reacting with many organs many enzymes many biochemicals many things and start making many many things dysfunctional so this is what is glucose i'm I'll again briefly repeat it that when you eat anything containing carbohydrate all the carbohydrates get converted into the glucose glucose comes in the blood and then from the blood because blood can have only 5 g or 10 g of glucose uh remaining glucose is sent to the muscles and liver as glycogen and the most bulk is sent to the fat cells uh, to be stored as fat and when your insulin is not working properly or fat cells have no room to further restore uh, any glucose then the level shoots up in the body and then you have high glucose uh, hyperglycemia or type 2 diabetes now if you could keep this fat cell contained if if it remains empty and if your insulin is working properly you will not have all the medicines that are used sometimes we use the insulin itself sometimes we use other medicines and mostly medicines work by pushing this gate and making the glucose uh, enter into the fat cell uh, so this is how it happens now coming to uh, the causes of diabetes uh, diabetes is mainly caused by three factors stress inactivity and easy car let me take the easy car first as i said that uh, it is the carbohydrates that get converted into the glucose now the conversion rate of any carbohydrate to glucose depends that how complex is that carbohydrate if carbohydrate is very complex as is found in millets then it it the conversion rate is slow and maybe you might utilize it with the same rate so the blood glucose level doesn't spike up but if uh, if the the conversion is faster like if you are having the sugar itself or uh, 
or anything which has sugar uh, or anything which is uh, highly cooked and uh, from where the conversion of carbohydrate to glucose is easy like wheat or rice or potatoes banana etc fruit juices etc then uh, your blood uh, level goes up so one of the reason of this spiking this fluctuating blood glucose level is the easy carbs that what carbohydrate we are using are very easy we should actually use complex carbohydrate complex carbohydrate digests slowly and so uh, the blood glucose level doesn't fluctuate that much but easy carb uh, is somehow addictive because it gives quick glucose and brain feels good and because of that reason uh, this has uh, entered uh, into the food a big way second cause is the inactivity actually you see uh, the animal design is for movement is for activity it is the plants which are supposed to be sitting at one place their whole life but we animals humans are a kind of animals we are supposed to be moving doing things our system is portable somehow in last couple of decades we have moved from that earlier people used to work in the farms or they used to go to the forest to forage or to hunt or things like that the life was very different and no diabetes existed that time diabetes is purely a, a, an r1 disease it's it's linked as you get urbanized these diseases particularly the diabetes goes up now you can find even this diabetes having reached to the villages because villages have started living the same life which is being lived in the cities and in cities most of the work is now by sitting is on the desk whereas our bodies are designed for movement or if there is a movement some people have some physical task some physical job or some people are otherwise physically active like they go on walks or on jogging they go to the gym do some exercises yoga etc but if anything is done with disinterest if it, it is done without uh, motivation with lack of motivation then probably it doesn't work that way the physical activity actually gives good result only when you are doing it with excitement with liking but if you are pushing yourself to do this then the results are not as good as as uh, otherwise so that is uh, another reason this is because we are now living that kind of a life but one of the prime reason around it is the stress stress in human life has increased tremendously it's not that earlier stress wasn't there but now the stress has gone a lot lot up uh, some people have a stress of a job or money or some people have the stress of health itself their own health or health of the loved ones some people have the the stress re around relationships uh, around family or neighborhood community etc so these all stresses put together are known as social stress so there are those kind of stress but there is one more stress which is not as well understood as is the social stress and that is biological we are we have having a lot of biological stress also or if you we, we don't use the word stress for the moment we use the term happiness then again there is a component which you may call as social happiness and there is a component which you may call as biological happiness and actually biological happiness is a bigger thing uh, we have a, a come out with a hypothesis that our 60 to 70 percent happiness is biological it's only 30 to 40 percent that it is social it is because we don't understand the biological thing very well that is why we try to label everything around the social maybe and there are many biological factors like our circadian rhythm has gone bad our gene switching has gone bad sleep has gone bad um, many people are deficient in vitamin d vitamin b12 people are not properly hydrated they are living in high uh, ambient co2 body ph is disturbing uh, there are many many factors and all these factors put together brings around biological stress or biological they affect the biological happiness 
and because people don't understand it so they will label it to what they they know actually they know that the stress is because of the neighbor or because of the family person or because of money or because of boss or because of job so they they would link with it and you will see it quite often that you might feel that your job is bad or your there is a problem in your relationship and you can come out of it and uh, soon after after just few months later you will feel that you are again equally stressed maybe because the stress wasn't of social nature it was of more of biological nature so actually the right thing is to handle to settle this biological uh, stress first number 1 number 2 even this uh, this stress around relationship etc uh or money work all those things actually it more depends that how you are taking the things things could be bad but more than that it is important that how you take them so if there could be some change in the mindset things may not change but if your mindset it changes you will take them differently and your stress will drop down but this cannot happen with the same mindset because this the existing mindset is the reason for the stress so you cannot expect the same mindset to solve it that is why coming out of that being at some different place being in different setup for few days and actually uh, people say that it's a 3 weeks is a good time if you spend at a at a distance place 3 uh, weeks time then your habits change your mindset change many such changes uh, can take place brief uh, outings are not that effective because you again go very quickly into the same zone uh at sehat one and of course you see this why we are accumulating lot of biological stress because uh life originally uh is about nature is around nature is around wilderness so it has been designed to be around wilderness and we have gone far away from that there is a beautiful word in hindi for the life it is jeevan now there is one in jeevan so actually there is no life without the forest and that is why when you go far away from the forest for far too long then you build up a lot of biological stress so going to the wilderness for some brief exposure i'm not saying that you go need to become a tribal person or you need to live in the forest not like that you just need to have some exposure for some time and that can settle your biological stress and you could be biologically happy person and also going to that kind of a place may help you uh, come out of even social stress um so at sehat one we we have that forest kind of a setting and uh, people do change here and also we we have a practice of fasting we call it forest fasting and people live here as community and in fasting what happens that your this fat goes away because in fasting you are not eating so this fat will go away and once this fat goes away then um, then your insulin starts working again because you got, uh, you have now created a room for the storage of fat and so your glucose excess of glucose can easily go inside the cells and and get stored there and this is how your diabetes could be relieved uh, could be reversed however this should never be done by one's own because if you are on medication then it should always be supervised by your doctor because um, mm, if you are taking medicines you can certainly not go on a fast because otherwise you would end up having hypoglycemia and hypoglycemia is a very dangerous thing so well these are some of the complicated things uh, they are little complex not too complicated but if you could go through them once then it is quite possible that you could get rid of the disease maybe forever so again just to recap the whole thing the diabetes is a disease which is indicated by a spike in blood glucose and why you have a spike in blood glucose because your glucose is not properly handled into the fat cell and often the reason is this that the fat cells are full and uh, the causes of uh, uh, diabetes are stress inactivity and easy carb so if we could get rid of the stress if we could make our life more active like we could do something which we are motivated in doing and we feel excited in doing about and if we could make some dietary change around i start going on a complex uh, carbohydrate then uh, of course it is possible to reverse the the diabetes